So ladies and gentlemen, today's launch revives one of the most famous Rolls Royce names. First used in 1938. And one which perfectly expresses this car's character. Wraith alludes to an almost imperceptible force. Something rare, agile and potent. A spirit that will not be harnessed. Our new car will boldly shape the years ahead for Rolls Royce, building on the success of Ghost and bringing even more new customers to our mark. Rolls Royce Race is the ultimate gentleman's Gran Turismo. It is the car we believe our great founding forefather and adventurer, the Honorable Charles Rolls, would have chosen to drive where he alive today. So ladies and gentlemen, it is with a great deal of personal pride that I present to you the Rolls Royce Race. The form language of Wraith suits the name Wraith so well. There's this sort of sense of fleeting, this sort of fleeting spirit, slightly ethereal, slightly enigmatic. We wanted to capture, uh, certainly in the design language, this sort of sense of effortless grace and elegance, but at the same time, something more contemporary, a little bit more daring in the roof line. This fast back silhouette really connects with the, the incisive dynamic qualities. This is a uh, Rolls Royce loosening the tie, so to speak. And the name Wraith brings a little bit of the noir to that recipe. The iron fist in a velvet glove. The power's there, and if you want it, it'll be pretty potent. Wraith is all about power. It's the fastest Rolls Royce to date, and it all starts at the front. This fantastic offset vertical grille. There's this lovely sense of uh, foreboding. As we move around the side of the car, we have this lovely expressive line from the coach doors that's linked to the side window graphic that pulls the wheels together so nicely. As we come round to the rear, it really has a very nice stance and attitude, the nice wide shoulders that sit over the widened rear axle. The two-tone on Wraith gives it a more dynamic quality. There's a more arrow-like poignancy to the design expression with the two-tone. And it also gives the bespoke customer choice to really personalise their car to their tastes. I think my favourite quality of Wraith is this expressive gesture that comes from the window graphic and works through the coach door. And that works with this lovely sense of linear purpose from the shoulder line. It's almost like a burn arrow. It's got this promise of potential, like the athlete in the blocks ready to spring. And the quality 
of line that comes through that incisive linear shoulder line is a little bit more decadent, it's a little bit more expressive, it's a little bit more glamorous in a way. In my view, the most successful designs always come down to three or four lines. It's a dynamic car, yeah, absolutely dynamic. And this is, I think, what will surprise our customers. In the first moment, it's a typical Rolls Royce because you don't hear anything. You push the start button and now, vroom, it is absolutely the most powerful Rolls Royce. It's a 12 cylinder engine with a P turbo, 6.6 liter displacement. It's fantastic. And this combined with an eight gear transmission, it's a pleasure to drive this car, I can tell you. <laughs> Satellite added transmission is completely new. It's, it's a way to see what comes in the future. What would the satellite added transmission do on the Nürburgring? There are a lot of curves behind each other, yeah? GPS says this car is at the moment here. In front of the car is a curve. And now <laughs> the system knows exactly what will follow. It knows what is the next curve and the next curve. And then it says, okay, don't shift up, shift down. And you always will have the right gear for these curves. It will make it exactly as a professional driver would do it. Yeah. And that's absolutely revolutionary. You have to go to real places. And what do I mean with real places? Yeah, you have to go to the Nürburgring by making the damper setting, for example, or steering. We went to America where it's hot. Death Valley is, is one famous place to test the car in conditions. And at the end of the day, you have to go to winter test to Sweden, northern Sweden, where you have icy conditions, where you have ice circles, you have icy roads, and you drive there at very, very low temperatures. It has to perform in any condition the driver could or the owner could drive. The car is a fastback, and we wanted this sort of uh, recognition that it's a fastback when we sat in the car. So we have these two leather spars, and they have a sense of focusing your attention. This is reinforced by this band of wood that runs around, almost as if you're the arrow sat within a bow waiting to be fired, and this sense of urgency and dynamic. It all pulls your attention to where the car is going. Where we've gone more contemporary is with the Canadel panelling. It's an open pour wood finish, so you don't have the lacquer on the veneer, so you can get a very much a tactile feel of the grain. Uh, you feel very much more connected with the material. Down the centre line of the vehicle, we've got a, a beautiful book match that allows the grain on one side of the car to mirror on the other side of the car. It also creates a sort of marvellous sense of cocooning and safety at the same time. What we've tried to do with the leather in Wraith is keep it as unfussy and as clean as possible, as seamless as possible. When you touch the surface of the leather we'll use on Wraith, we want you to feel the suppleness of the leather itself. Staying true to the whole ethos of Royce that you engineer for the customer what the customer needs. And then you try to make sure that is the very, very best of material that you can get your hands on. And that's what we do. There's always this nervousness if, if somebody with a two-door car offers you a lift. You, know? you, you expect to step into the back into a compromised situation. Well, we don't do that. We keep going. So there's a sense that when you're in the back of this car, the indulgence continues. Comfort starts with the perfect position of the steering wheel, your sense of confidence, the sense of effortlessness, the position of the pedals and so on. And in this, we're absolutely uncompromising. There are some little indulgences. In the center of the car, the rotary controller is a little bit lavish. It's a crystal glass surface, which allows people to enter things like addresses and telephone numbers by scribing with the finger. But for me, is important, vitally important, is the promise of the exterior is delivered as a reality in the interior of the car. After all, one spends most of the time with a car inside it, driving it, living within it. Before I came to Rolls-Royce, I spent eight years working for BMW Formula One. I was a systems engineer working on drivetrain electronics and software. The unique experience at Formula One gave you the chance to work on a project right from its infancy all the way to the racetrack and watch it perform there. After this, I spent a year as concept engineer at BMW working on new engine technologies. And it was there that I got the call to come to Rolls-Royce and work here at Goodwood. Satellite aided transmission is the perfect technology for Rolls-Royce racing. In effect, it opens the car's eyes. How does it do this? 
The car knows its position from the GPS satellites, and it knows the road ahead from the GPS maps. So in effect, the car can see around the next corner. It knows how you're driving, it can sense your mood. It knows if you're driving in a spirited fashion through these curves, or if you're on a rather more sedate Sunday drive. In this way, the gearbox is always set up with the correct gear. There are no hesitations. You come around the corner, you put your foot down, and you're off. Wraith is the most powerful and dynamic Rolls Royce ever. It's all about power, style, and drama. It has revolutionary technologies that augment its effortless yet dynamic driving capabilities, and an engine that delivers on the promise of the stunning fastback design. Wraith features the next generation of MMI technologies. This includes the Spirit of Ecstasy rotary controller with touch function, high definition screens, as well as new Rolls Royce graphics for the entire function. Every single part of the MMI functions have been upgraded, and this makes sure that Wraith is absolutely at the cutting edge of state-of-the-art technologies.